believers in government, or what I call the supporters of slavery. Look, in all honesty, we even have to drop this term statist. We got to start calling these people what they are. They're supporters of slavery. That's what these people are. Okay, and I don't care what brand they come in, left, right, center, or, or otherwise. Okay, the Democrat, the liberal, the political leftist, he wants government, he, she wants government to be our caretaker from cradle to grave, thinks that government should act as provider and nurturer like an archetypal mother. This is because there's abandonment issues in the motherly sense that are going on in most people like that. And if you go into people who are political leftist, liberal, Democrat types, okay, and yeah, I am generalizing, okay, you will find people with mommy issues, okay? <laughs> you will find people with mommy issues because what they want the government to be is the caretaker that's absent. So they want it to be mommy. I want mommy. And now government's going to be mommy. Okay? Now let's look at the opposite side. The oppo same. Okay? As David I calls it. The Republican, the conservative, the political right winger. Okay? They want government to be our protector. We want a strong government. It's got to be our protector. Police the world and keep us safe. Right? From cradle to grave, it's going to keep us safe, like an archetypal father figure, like the powerful, you know, protective father figure. Well, just like the Democrats and the political leftists have mommy issues, all the people on the right side who this is what they think government should exist to do have daddy issues. They want government to be daddy. Okay? That's the underlying psychological issues that these people have and don't even know they have. They don't even know they have these issues, all right? It's mommy and daddy didn't pay enough attention to me. So I want mommy and daddy present now. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. And let, look, let's not leave out the, min, the minarchists, okay? Let me just go back one there. The minarchists, the constitutionalists, this is the libertarian. I only want a little bit of government. I want government to beat me three days a week instead of seven. <laughs> Whip me three days a week, master, not seven, please. You know? The plantation on the other side of the hill only whips their slaves three days a week. You know? Here we get whipped seven days a week, so, so I want to go over to that plantation. You know? I mean, this is, this is absurdity. It's absurdity. And again, I don't usually speak that strongly out against these types of groups because they're almost there, but they're the people who are most of the way there, but they fear going all the way because they don't want to be labeled an anarchist. Or in other words, a non-supporter of slavery who think that, thinks that slavery should be abolished. God forbid. God's forbid. If, if the, in the early 20th century there's no scientific basis for the idea that, uh, for the germ theory, and no germs have been shown to be the causes of any disease, if that was the case in the early 20th century, it's still um, the case it's now. Still the case now because wow. no we, I mean, you imagine if the mainstream media wasn't covering uh, this coronavirus thing in the way they are with all the scare stories on an almost 24-hour basis day by day, um, it wouldn't have been nearly as successful um, from the government's point of view of this lockdown, which they've locked down practically the world.